We take a look at the flood waters receding in several parts of Moorhead City. WNCT's Brandon Goldner found one area still covered. Brandon, what is the latest there? Angela, I'm at the Blair Farm Development entrance, and this is just off of North 20th Street. You can see the water right here. Uh, this isn't too deep. It gets a little deeper over there, but the water right here, it's about ankle length for me. And I also want to show you as well another issue causing this buildup of water. Take a listen to this. This is... This is the sound of the grass. The grass is soggy. The grass is wet. It's been an issue that one neighbor tells me is leading to all this water buildup. And also on North 20th Street, this area isn't well illuminated. So I've been seeing a lot of cars just speeding right through on 20th Street, possibly because they can't see. And of course, going through water at high speed increases the risk for hydroplaning. I spoke to Tom Outlaw, who is part of the Homeowners Association at Blair Farm. He says that an overflowing creek and this wet ground is contributing to this water buildup, but he hasn't seen any car accidents or anything from this. Most of them will take this easy. Uh, most of them know what, what's going on here. It's not a big area right here at our entrance, so once you got it, you got to come to a stop sign anyway. And from what I've seen, drivers have been pretty good about going through this water. Outlaw hopes this water roller will recede. Now, I did speak to Carteret County Manager Russell Overman. He tells me that the water in areas where there were flooding should be starting to recede. I actually visited several areas where there were reports of flooding earlier in the day, but there really was no sign of water. Live in Carteret County, Brandon Goldner, 9 on your side.